Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lord Civic, and today we're going to be playing the newly released The Last of Us Part 1 Remake on the LG CX OLED. Um, there's a lot I want to show you guys and a lot I want to say, so I'm going to hop behind the camera right now, and we're just going to hop right in. Um, first and foremost, we are going to be um, playing from the chapter The Quarantine Zone, um, Beyond the Wall. I myself am about like two hours into the game, so I think I'm about like two sub-chapters ahead. Um, but <clears throat> just for the showcasing of for you guys, I'm going to do this chapter because you guys can see like the black levels, a lot of the uh, vegetation, and then there's also going to be some like action -y set pieces, but not like that far into the game. Um, so first and foremost, first thing I want to cover is the black levels in this game are absolutely fantastic and drastically better than the original game and the remastered release. I remember when I did The Last of Us Part 2. Um, well, my when, I, when The Last of Us Part 2 came out, I did a replay of the remastered. I think that was like my third replay. Um, this would be my fourth now. And the black levels were completely out of whack on the remastered version to the point where instead of even attempting to be black, they were just like totally gray. Still here um, last time. And it's so amazing to see here on the remake, the, the black level is not only being significantly better, but almost perfect, oh, if not some of the best I've ever seen in, uh, in a, like any type of game. It's like really good. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy behind the release right, of Jason. this game, and I understand a lot of people's like complaints and different stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of people want like Naughty Dog to be working on The Last of Us Part 3 or even like some new IP that I believe they're supposed to be working on right now. Um, but I definitely understand Naughty Dog and Sony's reasoning for releasing this game. They have a TV series Come coming out that is going to introduce the series to millions of people and... Um, it seems that they are going absolutely all out with like collabing by having it air on like HBO. They have the, uh, I think it's writers or some of the people that are even behind Chernobyl that are supposed to be like working on it. Uh, they got Pedro Pascal. Um, and I am so sorry I'm forgetting the actor who plays Ellie. Uh, is it Bella Ramsey, I think? Um, you know. Bella Ramsey. Yeah, it is Bella Ramsey. Okay. Um, also, while I'm doing that and touching on that point, um, I'm running the game in the performance mode with unlocked frame rate. Um, when you run the game in the resolution mode, you can get 30 to 35 FPS during some of the more action-y action or like heavy vegetation, heavy detailing stuff, which <clears throat> is not for me ideal. Um, and then also... Uh, this game is obviously going to be best on PC when it release, and I am super excited to play it on there at above 60 FPS and all that. <clears throat> now, with saying that, going back to my point about there being the TV series, there is going to be millions of people reintroduced to the... I'm um, not reintroduced. Introduced to the game for the first time, or the series as a whole for the first time. Where's the ladder? And be there is somewhere. just too much money to be left on the table Got it. to be like, oh, hey, you <laughs> like... The Last of Us series, go play the ten to fifteen dollar one that's or fifteen to twenty dollar one that's available right now, or even you get free with the PS5 version. Uh, this also gives Naughty Dog an opportunity to get familiar with the PS5 hardware and like flex their muscles and like for a flex your muscles test out the hardware type thing. This is quite the showcase. My God, this looks like really freaking good. It outclasses even The Last of Us Part Two when it comes to graphical fidelity and even like the facial mocap. And the crazy thing about the facial mocap is they didn't even go back and, um, you know, what's it called? Go back and like re-shoot any of the scenes. They took like the original uh, mocap and then I think they did like AI processing and like touched up and did their like, you know, Naughty Dog magic. And my God, it looks absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, also, another thing, just off of the like raw fidelity and then also like the better uh, facial animations during the cutscenes, a lot of the graffiti and writing on the wall and like detailing in the environment is a lot richer than it's like ever been um, in the previous two 
uh, releases of this game, and it just looks absolutely um, fantastic. We Down saw here. with The Witcher 3, not Witcher 3, with The Witcher TV series, how it had brought um, millions of new times. sales to the Let's series see. as a whole. And um, I know it also to the book as well, and I know the Witcher book is it. the original release well. of the Witcher well, universe or whatever. But Supposedly. it's just, Sports. as I said, there's just too much money to be left on the table. And this is obviously targeted towards um, people that haven't played the game before, people that could be introduced from the TV series, and also like myself, the absolute super fans that just have to get any piece of Last of Us in any way they can. I know a lot of people are going to be waiting for uh, the sale of the game, which makes a lot of sense, but um, my god, this is this is just really fantastic. Um, to the point where I know a lot of people were asking for more gameplay changes, I will say Prone and Dodge would have been really nice to get. Um, I can understand reasoning not for the throne because, you know, Joel is not as, like, uh, flexible and youth youthful as Ellie, yeah. so it would make a lot of and sense, but he work. can very easily dodge, right. and from what I played, it has been kind of rough not being able to, like, easily Who dodge in the same way Ellie was. Um, also, right. if they added throne... Okay, so what I was saying with my point, if they added prone, they would like have to drastically rechange a lot of the environments. Which you might be saying, okay, that's what a remake is, but um, I think the game could work without prone. But it does feel very rough that there's not like a dodge mechanic. Um, but you know, in the graphical department, which I guess is Naughty Dog's like strongest suit, my god, this game is a showcase. Like right here, you can literally see there is thousands upon thousands of particle effects flying in the air among the ridiculously detailed spore environment, the detailing of the text written on like, you know, the people's desk and just different stuff. It's like really freaking good. The haptics in this game are like nuts. As you like choke at anybody, you can like feel like them taking like their last breath. Uh, you pull the trigger of the gun, you can feel like the kickback of it. Jesus. HDR is really impressive in this game. As you guys saw at the beginning, I picked grounded, so I'm not going to waste a single bullet. And I'm going in here because I want you guys to see... Uh, detail environments and then also like how nicely uh you know the detailing of even writing on paper now is just like so legible and clear on the ps5 hey brother we were so close i'm sitting outside the walls knowing i'll never see the inside of the zone while waiting for the smuggler to show up it's just like everything is just like so readable and like you know like the dirtiness of like the text and different stuff. It's like really yeah, cool. Trying to sneak into the zone. As much as everyone complains about it, we got all these poor bastards wishing they were living on Earth. God, 
guys, the vegetation, the detailing, everything is so rich. Oh, some fresh air. That's the one thing I love about the outside. I fucking hate the smell of the city. Why don't you ask Bill to get you some of them air fresheners? Hey, they weren't expired. That'd be a good idea. <clears throat> After you. You know, that's really cool. Tess is usually the one who's supposed to open it, but there's like a button prompt for it. And that was like the first time I'd ever like, I guess, run ahead of her. So there's like a whole animation, a whole like visual subset. I don't know if subset's the right word of like a scenario where Joel opens it or Tess opens it, which is really cool. Um, Pass it to me. But like, look, see that like site safety sign? Like even heavy. without zooming in, like all the text it. is just right. so readable and stuff. It's so cool. And it's like dirtied up, it's cracked. It, it's really cool. Really, really cool. It's like, I, I just love video games so much. And I love the amount of care and detailing that like Naughty Dog puts into their games. I love The Last of Us 1 and it's, I'd probably say it fits into my top getting close. 10, if not top 10, at least like top 25 of games. But like The Last of Us Part 2 is like, it's top two for me and it's number two, it's not one. But it's the, the series as a whole is just like so freaking fantastic. And I honestly think this remake right here might uh, knock it up a few points in my uh, top favorite games of all time uh you know the little collectibles in this game are just like nuts like there's a firefly pendant right here oh and i missed it okay okay i missed it oh you can just grab it okay that's didn't know that i've always just shot it before ben glue it so i just wasted two bullets right there and i only have two more okay I'm not supposed to go that way, I forgot. Shut it. All right, you can see outside, you can see the, <sighs> so many details, man, it's nuts. So like, <clears throat> As I said before, the black levels on this game are like absolutely impre so impressive. I don't know how it's going to be like showing up on the camera because I know when I've shot like darkish videos before, uh, black levels have shown up kind of like bluish. But just know it is not like that here. Um, black levels are absolutely like pristine. Nobody's expecting this. Well, that'll make it more interesting. <laughs> Go. Come on. Hey, Tess, hey, Tess. Pretty good. How you doing today? Uh, Not right now, Terrence. No, no, no. It's, it's good. Look Not out. now. You hear me? Okay. All the NPCs are just so rich in detail. The smoke effects. Yep. The decay and brokenness of the ground. The somewhat far draw distance. Uh, sound design, absolutely amazing. Um, but I mean, that's just like a given when it comes to Naughty Dog. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's just some stuff that it's just like, for a lot of other like gaming companies would be like, wow, that is just absolutely amazing. But it's like Naughty Dog has like raised the bar just like so high that it's kind of like, even with the ridiculous wow factor of the graphics, it's just kind of honestly what I expect of them at this point, which. I don't know, I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's just like, you know, they're like the absolute best, um, or if not the best, one of the best. I know Rockstar would definitely be um, of the same caliber as The Last of Us, and they do their games in open world fashion, um, so that's its own, you know, craziness itself. Um, there's the note here on civilians and then right here 
on the wall is a wanted poster for Marlene. I'm looking for Robert. Yeah, dude. These cutscenes and just like half hour ago, you went back. Everybody to the just looks so real. It's nuts. Like it's it's literal. It's literally nuts. Let us through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. Take cover! You ready? Yep, yep. I'm ready. I'll cover you. Get the angle on them. Fire your gun so I can come out. Hit him, Dad. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Yeah, grounded difficulty is you get hit once. Not once, you get hit twice. You do. It is game I'm over, so I have to be checks. pretty Robert's careful. One thing. It's right in the link, checks. Let's go put an end to that. Dude, the blood splatter and just how it like see it like goes out into the cracks of the ground and oh, that splatter is just oh gosh, man. Video games, man. Here's again with the graffiti and the text. We got Ruben, Maxwell, Alexander, Eduardo, Marlene again, and Jeremy. Yeah, this is just... Ew, those rats are huge. Ugh. <laughs> More Robert's guys. Shh, I see him. How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Nice and quiet, Texas. Let's spread out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Bullets. Oh, I have zero bullets. Oh! <laughs> That's grounded for you. Yikes. Um, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, I went through the wrong way. I usually go through this door and I actually went through. Other I door. Let me guess. You take Five one and I'll take the other. Yep. I lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. They just executed all of them. Holy shit. Yeah, I guess I got all the 
cracked him down on him hard. Yeah, I got a cousin with him. Seriously? Yeah, the idiot thinks he's gonna save the world. Hope he's all right. Dude, do you, oh God, you can literally see the life essence like leave people's face There's as no you take them out. There. Where's the last one, Tess? Oh, right there. No! <laughs> Let's be cool, man. Take it easy. That's scenery. Oh man, I these games are. I forgot how like dark, real and dark they can be. Um, I haven't played The Last of Us in like almost two years at this point, but. I'm super excited to do a replay of this game in the second one. Definitely gonna do those back to back. You know, there's so many little details that I did it in the first one that I will now that I play the second one. Um, but with saying that, um, if you guys are getting the game, whether you're playing OLED or not, first time, second time, 10th time, um, whatever, um, I hope you guys very much enjoy this video. And if you get the game, I hope you enjoy it as well. With saying that, like always, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't, hit that like, subscribe button already. Please make sure to do that. And with saying that, I hope you guys have a good day.